Okay, so that didn't turn out too bad. It was a little crooked. Thicker here than there, and there and there. Uh, I was guesstimating how much to put in this. I put 10 ounces in it. I had lines all drawn off. and Maybe I'll go, maybe I'll go a little bit more, maybe 12 next time. I'm a little thin, I can still do a pen with it. Uh, the colors I used were the Stream, the Jim Holtz Alcohol Ink Stream, uh, Wild Plum Alcohol Ink, and then the Blue, or the Stream, I put the Interference Blue, and then I put Interference Red in the Plum. I'm gonna get these cut up on the, on the bandsaw over there. We'll go over there. I should get quite a few blanks out of this, and then we'll cut these off. Alright, so I ended up with seven blanks. They aren't perfect. I'm gonna have to, this is my first, <laughs> first go at this molding thing. Uh, I needed more resin, but I can still get blanks out of these. I ended up with seven. Like I said, uh, this guy here is a little, a little, uh, a little on the thin side. I, I might be able to do a slim line or something in there. I'm not positive. Uh, I set it up when I originally did this for the table saw, actually, so. I actually shouldn't have that left. It should be, I should have lost the eighth inch out of it, but I did this on a bandsaw, which proved to be a little difficult. As you can see, the blade don't want to stay where I want it. So it's not really a straight cut. But I think this guy is gonna be this one or this one. I'm just looking at how they are to get wood, it, wood and, and resin. I think I'm gonna go with that, that one. So I'll get it marked up and cut, drill the tubes out. And we'll be on the lathe when I get back. the tubes uh, twice actually silver and then uh, metallic blue and then just in case I also shot some down the down the inside uh, the problem with this is the glue likes to set up before you get the tube all the way in so you got to be quick and, and it likes to set up on the cap also <coughs> oh, there we go Easy wood tubes, a carbide cutter, 2500 RPM, and we'll see if we can get this swamp stick to stay together. <laughs> well, the real reason I was doing this is because somebody asked if the total boat could be used for pen blanks. Well, I'm about to find out. So far, it's working all right.
Okay, so what I've got is a little dimple in the wood right here. It was a bit punky, and it came out. So I'm just going to, uh, so I can level it off, a little bit of medium in there. And let that set up for a bit. A little bit of acetone. I know, it doesn't sound right, does it? But denatured alcohol is what you use to clean up this stuff. So. You know how the sanding goes. I, I don't know if you all can see it, but the interference colors are just kind of kind of popping as you turn it. I'm glad I painted the tube silver. Was it peeled the paint off of them, the blue paint anyways? But it looks really kind of cool down in there. I don't know if you can see the interference changing colors. I can. It should look good once I get it all cleaned up. So we'll do the, the micro mesh. This is a long process. <laughs> I'll make you watch a few. That's about it. I need more water on that. Well, it's pretty weird looking down in there. I do like the interference. Awesome. Let me get this off here and get set up. We're going to put it together right here. It doesn't actually go that bad. It's pretty easy. Okay, so all I've got is a piece of something. Uh, that was actually the other half of the flying goblet there. And then uh, I made a cone for something. But it just slips over this here. Got my parts all laid out. So we're going to stick the nib in. I know they call it something else. A tip. Pretty much. You just use your tail stock and... Push it together, just like so. Maybe a little bit more before the heater comes on. There we go. Okay, <laughs> now, now that the heater is done, and then we push this end in here like so. And voila. And then, uh, I actually found we need to tighten that little screw down in there. Because this, this tends to be crooked if it's not tight. So I got us a little itty bitty screwdriver. And we'll just tighten her up a hair. And then, oh, 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 I'm throwing everything everywhere. And then on to here like so. Now, you might have to go off to the edge over here so that the, the clip there doesn't interfere. You can see there. There, that's better. And then you put the a little band on with all the pretty studs in it. Kind of like so. And there you have all that. Looks pretty good. Sparkly blue and everything. 
Now I did kind of leave it on the wood, just down the edge of it, so that you get some of the interference and all that in there. You place this wherever you want. And then it's just a matter of not losing the spring, throwing it down there in that garbage can, because it would take forever to find it. But um, I think, I think, put the bigger end on there, and then in here like so. And you put your transmission on and just the reds on. And it says to not over tighten that and then you get a you gotta work the lube into it. And there you go. And then ta da oh, that looks pretty cold on it. I like it. I wasn't sure I'd be alright with how that looks down in there. But I'm glad I painted that tube silver. And the effects of the paint moving away with the glue are kind of cool. <laughs> so, but there you go. Well, we'll go over there by the sticker board and talk about it. Fingerprints all over it. <laughs> All right, so anyways, not that you can see it all that great, but well, maybe this way, without trying to get my fingers out of it. Uh, it wasn't too bad. <laughs> it was more about if the total boat would work for uh, resin or for blanks anyways. I did one in red and gold. Uh, you can see the, I can't really see it. Uh, it didn't do too bad. I'm going to do another set of blanks. I wasn't sure if my mold will work all that great or not. So I'm going to do another set of blanks as soon as that heater goes out. All right, so the heater finally went out. Hey, I'll put some pictures up at the end. Like I said, uh, I'm going to do just a solid mold. In the, in the resin to see how that goes if we can buff it or sand it down smooth enough and all that without having to add the CA finish which I don't really want to do but that's how I do it <laughs> uh, I did a bunch of these these are orders actually um, and I flat wore out my bushings I've got a couple more to do and I had to order another tube because some dummy leaned on the barrel trimmer a bit too hard and made it short now the reason I'm showing you these is because this was soaked in acetone. That's why I used acetone to, to clean it, not denatured alcohol, because the denatured alcohol would dissolve it. Now, it's all broken up because I broke it, but the only thing that really happened was is the, the CA glue dissolved, and I could just slide the tubes right out of them. But I had to order a new tube, because this one was a bit short, and then the ink stuck out the end of it. So I got that kit to replace and do, and then uh, I got another of the pink princess prints to do which i don't believe i have an order for it so all these three of them will be in the etsy store um if you want to order the kits they're penn state industries i know that's backwards to me but that's the princess pen kit uh the other one was a uh, like you get four four different styles not just the pink you get the blue the gold and white and then there's a chrome and white and you know obviously the off the, the blue and the chrome but yeah if you like it go ahead and hit the thumbs up uh like i said i'm going to do another another round of those in just the resin to get some colors going and then uh i don't have any new stickers this week not yet anyways i know there's some coming we're just waiting for them to get here and yeah please photos at the end thumbs up uh, share it if you like it um it's getting warm out Actually, I was out the other day because it was warm and my hair was moving, which I'm not used to feeling, so I had to take it off. I'm not quite sure if this is going to make it because last year it was horrible, all sweaty right here. But I don't know, you know, the lake, sun, sweaty beard, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> well, we'll see y'all next week.